Hello my family members, this is the time to discuss on advanced coding problem. All of you have been asking me when you are uploading advanced coding problem. So this is the time because only for this question most of the candidates could not solve both coding in the exam. So let's make this easier for you. Okay, let's start with the question. But before starting, I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding previous year paper. Link will be given in the description box and please subscribe this channel to get such content. Okay, let's read the question first. So the question is, you are required to implement the following function int rearrange array int array int len right the function accepts an array error of length len as its argument right you are required to rearrange the elements positive integers are on right but retaining their order of appearance as in the original array return the modified array note that all operations are to be performed in a place that is you cannot use another array if array is null, none in case of python, then return null, right? And assumption that is consider 0 as a positive number. Okay, look at the sample input. That is the given array elements are this and the output is this. So what is happening here? I am making you understand that all the negative elements are in order at the left side right and without retaining the order of appearance the positive integers are just write the uh, just right of the negative elements right that means 1 7 9 and 15 should be uh, consecutive after the negative elements right so and you don't have authority to take another array right so just look at the instruction carefully and solve the problem right so let's go to solve the problem at first let me write the code then i will explain briefly right so def uh, rearrange array right and you can take the size of the array right so if error is none right so return none right and uh, take a negative index as zero right why i am making you understand as as soon as i complete the code right so let's take a for loop that for in range length of the array right and if I will explain all of the functions and the syntaxes, right? Just be, uh, have patience, right? Zero and error dot insert negative. If you are thinking that this is easy, but why? How can it be a advanced coding? But this was actually an advanced coding in terms of their pers perspective, right? array dot pop i and uh, uh, actually there are not very difficult questions are being asked right because uh, you are fresher right so this type of questions are assumed to be uh, an advanced coding right and little bit data structure concepts are imposed in this coding right so I'm just writing the code and I will let you understand what I did here, right? Okay, let's uh, write the driver code first. So driver code that is at first take uh, the array input or size of the array, right? Size of the array int input, right? And take the array element. So array should be taken in the list format map and take as in integer right and 
so i have to take all the elements in a single line right by space right so just do that and and uh, take a variable in which we will store values what the function will return right so function means rearrange array right rearrange the array element and the size and we will now print the answer right just one thing to know that this syntax i will uh, I, I will i will discuss on that right i will discuss the syntaxes right just have patience a little map str and array right i think you most probably know the syntaxes though i i will i will make you understand and uh, give you a brief explanation so let's run the code i think this is okay so at first the size of the array right so the size was actually 246 so size was 6 and in a single line all the elements should be there with space separated right minus 12 and 15 so the output is minus 5 minus 12 1 7 9 15 right so this is appropriate so let's run the second code the second uh, elements uh, the second array's size was 10 right so 10 and the elements were minus 6 minus 6 10 8 minus 5 minus 14 minus 17 23 minus 20 minus 18 minus 19 right so let's look at the output and the design and the given output that was minus 6 minus 5 minus 14 minus 17 minus 20 minus 18 minus 90 10 8 23 same to same right so this is fine okay let's uh, look at the explanation what is happening at first we are defining a function right this condition checks if, if the input list array is none that is uh, if uh, it is empty then i should return none right and this is storing a zero value negative index is equal to zero this variable keeps track of the position where negative elements should be inserted in the list right and this is the look uh, for i in range length of array uh, it is actually iterating through each index of the input list array right and if array i less than zero that means the elements from which we are hovering that if that is negative then do this what will i do that array dot insert and negative index comma array dot pop i so what is the function of this at first know the function of array dot pop i it actually removes the element at index i from the list right it is actually a little bit related to concept of data structure i think you have go, gone through the data structure classes right just know that it is used for removing purpose right okay now look at here uh, array dot insert what is the function of this it actually inserts the removed negative element the elements which were which was removed it is actually inserting at the position where negative index were locating right so i hope you have got it so now let now at the end of the for loop it will have a values in the array right so the new array will be returned and here we are taking the input list map yeah, we are taking the input in the list format and map is actually uh, wh what is doing this it is actually converting all the input we are taking that was actually by default uh, string so we are changing this into integer right and we are storing here the values uh, in a variable and what is the syntax meaning here i am making you understand that uh, this is a space right 
at first all the array elements are being converted into string right and then it is doing join function what is what is join it is joining all the elements by a space right so i hope you have got it and if in case of uh, in, instead of taking a space if you give a hyphen or anything uh, thus in this place in this place there would be a space i mean there would be a hyphen or the underscore whatever you give here right so i hope you have got the logics got the syntaxes and got the full answers right so if you want more such videos and want more such uh, advanced coding then kindly comment down more and more and just comment plus one right i will understand your inner feelings right so please if you like this then comment and subscribe this channel thank you